Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Talia and today is my very first anti-haul video and day two for my 12 days of Christmas. So in this particular anti-haul video, which is like I said, my very first one, I'm only going to talk about cookie and cosmetics. I know that it has been all over YouTube, on Twitter, and I don't know about Instagram so much as far as people's thoughts about it, but I know definitely Twitter is has been like a huge platform on people's comments whether or not they are going to purchase it or not. So um, there's a lot of controversy around this particular brand. So I just want to give my thoughts and my opinions on, you know, why I will not be purchasing this brand. So if you are interested in my opinion on why I'm not going to be buying the Cookie and Cosmetics, stay tuned. But again, before you get all cozy and you know, I, you know, I, <laughs> you're up against your computer, telephone, or whatever to know the reasons why I am not purchasing this brand, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Also, click the notification bell so then you know when your girl is uploading next because I'm sure you don't want to miss it. Like, I know for certain you don't want to miss another video from me. So, go ahead and get the clicking. I'll, I'll give you a moment. Go ahead. Take, go ahead. Back. Okay, so I decided to do this anti-haul for the cookie and cosmetics because I feel like it needs to be, like a lot of people are coming for him in a shady kind of way, but I, I'm personally not. Um, I used to watch John Cookie and on YouTube, just to give you a brief run, rundown on cookie and cosmetics. It is founded by John Cookian, who is a YouTuber on <laughs> YouTube. He has over 300,000 subscribers, and he is a drama channel. He is not a makeup channel. He does not review makeup. He just talks about makeup guru, beauty gurus, and whatever they're coming out with. Like, I don't know where this makeup line came from. Which brings me to, like, why would I buy anything from you if you don't review makeup yourself? Like, I, I don't get it. But there's no here or there. But this that's who John Cookie is. He is a drama or, you know, investigative journalist, what he proclaims himself to be. But he really doesn't dabble in makeup. Um, I guess he has a love for it, I suppose. I guess that's where, you know, what he was talking about on his channel for a brief moment. He is supposedly, or went to school for, um, biomedical chem chemistry or something. He went to school that had, it had nothing to do with makeup, period. But he decided to come out with a brand and now you have cookie and cosmetics so under his line of makeup he came out with um, liquid lipsticks that came with a uh, lip pencil that matches the liquid um, lipstick and also with a darker shade of the lip pencil that you would be able to do ombre do an ombre oh an ombre look with the actual um, lip liquid lipstick okay those kits retail for $24. This is his first time coming out with it. So, I'm going to just put that there. He also came out with what they call Metallic Crush Pigments. In this set of pigments, is a set of three, you have an orange, a purple, and a cranberry-ish kind of color. Nothing innovative. When you go onto his YouTube channel, he does have, like, he does, he demonstrates the liquid lipsticks, also the pigments on his channel. Everything looks all well and good, but nothing to the point where I feel like, okay, oh my god, I have to have that because he didn't come out with anything that, you know, that, <laughs> that moved me. And those crushed pigments retail for $15 for the set of three. So, and I'll put pictures of all these products around me somewhere so then you can take a look for yourself. And if you're interested in getting anything that he has put out there, by all means, you do you. But my thing with this particular brand that doesn't move me to go ahead and purchase it is the unprofessionalism that he displays on Twitter and also on YouTube. He attacks people for having an opinion. 
it's okay for him to go out and say what he needs to say about Jeffree Star, Patrick Star, Peter Mon, whoever he wants to talk about. It's okay for him to do so. But when you have an opinion or you want to question what he has going on, he comes to the defensive and he's so disrespectful to the point it's like, okay, was that even necessary? I feel like if you're coming out with a brand, it's okay to defend your baby. I understand that if you poured your heart, sweat, and tears into something, but to the point where you're being insulting, I don't see how owning a brand, trying to push a brand, and acting like a complete ass goes together. I don't, I don't know how that works out. So, that's one of the things that really kind of took away from it. I was never interested, let's put it, I was never, never, never interested in buying anything that he had to put out there because of his whole demeanor. So, um, this is not going to be a very long video. I just, you're a jerk. <laughs> you're a jerk and who wants to buy from a jerk? Not anybody. Not anyone. I'm a person who does makeup. I wear makeup all the time. I also do makeup on others. I wouldn't put this on a client. I don't care if the client said, hey, I have these. Can you put these on me? No, 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 no. From what I can see from pictures that I have seen, these crushed pigments are not on and popping. These liquid lipsticks, what I saw on his model, like on his model, she looked like her lips were starting to swell. Like they were about to break out in a rash. Like, no. I'd be like, okay, no, no, no. Well, I have something similar. <laughs> we, we, we will work with what I got. I would, no. No. John, try again, honey. Try again and come out differently. Like, your whole approach is the freaking worst. And I don't understand what made him think that he can take off, you know, Soren with his assholeness. Sorry, Mom, if you watch. I just don't. I just don't understand the the price point. I don't even think the price point is that bad. You you're getting a liquid lipstick. You're getting two pencils for twenty four dollars. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. You have indie brands that come out with just a liquid lipstick, and you're paying seventeen dollars for it, or you know, fifteen dollars for something. Like it's not that big of a deal with the pencils. But I don't think that it was one the shades that he came out with also biting off a of Jeffree Star like the dirty money situation like I can't stand a biter that's why I try not I look at beauty gurus like there's beauty gurus that I actually love and enjoy but I try not to watch them so much when it comes down to me doing like tutorials and things of that nature or even reviews like I'll you know if they're suggested something I might take a look and get their opinion but overall I will either buy it or not buy it based on what I think. A beauty guru doesn't move me that much to buy or not buy anything. I make that final decision and I'm very proud of even saying that because I know there's like even um, videos like oh you know you know beauty gurus made me buy it. No. No one makes me buy anything. You know you put your review out there and be like ah eh, maybe. Oh uh, no like Natasha Denona, like I would never buy anything from that particular brand. Not that things don't look pretty, but I'm not really trying to spend my money on something that costs 200 and something dollars for some eyeshadow. Like that's not where my heart is, nor would I ever do that. But um, back to John, I just think that he needs to, you know, come out with a whole different approach if he ever sees this video. The only advice that I have to him is that if you want anybody to ever get any of your things, you can't attack your customers or potential customers. You can't attack someone for having an opinion. I think that your liquid lipsticks and your pencils and your, your, your crushed pigments are not innovative enough to make anybody jump at the chance of getting these products like no and also the um the pigments on him they looked okay they swatch pretty nicely but i also have juvia's place that are dope that swatch great and have those three shades and one of her palettes or whatever i don't need yours like, you should have came out with something that was going to blow people's minds only because you talk so much trash about everybody else. And this is where you went wrong. You came out with basic colors. Basic. Orange, purple, and a cranberry. 
Who doesn't have that right now? Who? So try again. Come out with a different approach. Stop attacking my boy Peter because we're going to have problems, boo. <laughs> no, no, no. But, um, yeah, just come out with something different. Try again. I know that right now he has certain things sold out on... He has certain things sold out. There's things that are sold out on his website. Go take a look for yourself. I'm not going to go into ingredients, not having ingredients and stuff to that nature. No. That. What his dishonesty is the freaking worst and if anything that is why people are not grabbing gravitating towards it his whole approach he didn't send up he didn't send out any pr packages if he really wanted to crush the makeup game send it to all the people that you ripped on your channel send it to them let them review it because if it was that if it was that dope they would give you an honest review regardless. They would they would think you are straight badass for you to one talk trash to send your product to them to review it. But you can't do that. Why? Because you don't even believe in your own you don't believe in yourself. You don't believe in what you're putting out there. You know that you're a scammer. You already know that. You already know that, you know, your stuff is private labeled and is no different than Getting stuff from AliExpress or whatever, just you know, a twenty-five dollar lies, twenty-five cent eyeshadow or whatever that you can get anywhere, and just slap your name on. Like you're dishonest. Own that. Own it, <laughs> and move on and try again if you are really trying to crush this makeup game. Because you may have some folks who are willing to put their differences to to the side and really. You know give you a chance but you're a sucker for all the 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 trash talking and bashing and deleting tweets and you know leaving inappropriate comments about people on their on their platform like how old are you who didn't teach you how to behave yourself like who did that so yeah I'm a pass on this I'm a makeup lover I'm a makeup artist and I am saying no to cooking and cosmetics. And I feel like right now, nothing he can say or do that can change my mind. I don't care who's rocking it. But you're not getting you're not getting anyone to review it. And the people who I have I did I saw one review today. And no offense to that to that person, but it wasn't even a great video for me to base anything on. But what I can gather from that video, it was it was pretty much trash and she thought it was trash so that was it for me the only ones who purchase anything from this particular brand are people who actually support the youtuber themselves no one else no true makeup you know influencer or influencer or we saying influencer no one of that stature no one who are no one who is a makeup enthusiast enthusiast bought any of that like no one is rushing and you know knocking down doors to get this makeup line so neither will I so yeah that's my thoughts and my opinions to why no so this is my first anti haul and John cooking you made the list I will be doing another anti haul with the things <laughs> that, that really count that people actually like that I just choose not to get. I will be creating another um, anti haul with the actual a list of things that I'm just not interested in. So, but I, de I definitely wanted to give this video, I mean, this cosmetic line, its own video in itself. Not so much for views, but just to kind of just say, hey, let me just give you my honest opinion on this particular brand and why I am not getting it. And also why you shouldn't. You don't want to buy from a liar. Because all you're going to do is get more lies later on. Okay. So if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you actually ordered Cookie and Cosmetics and have received it. And you feel like maybe I'm being too harsh and you loved it. Leave a comment down below. If you have seen the cosmetic line and... uh think that you know if you're undecided on whether or not you are gonna get it go ahead and leave a comment down below if you're also thinking like me saying hell no 
to the product line, go ahead and leave a comment down below. I look forward to hearing from you, just regardless of what the comment is. I look forward to um, hearing from you guys. And don't forget to connect with your girl on, on all our social media platforms. It is on Snapchat. Well, it's everything Tyler's Eye Candy on Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And I will definitely catch you guys in the next. Bye. Happy holidays. Since we've no place to go, let it snow.